Welcome to 12 News at 10. Of course, we are tracking that storm system moving through the state tonight. Still an active radar right now at this hour. Also, take a look at some of the video here from the National Weather Service. Uh, this out in Dodge City, right before the storm rolled through, you can see some of the dust being kicked up by the wind out there. Some much needed rain, maybe not the best timing for farmers trying to get wheat out of the fields. Let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Ross Jansen right now. Ross, you say the severe weather threat, though, is waning. Yeah, definitely looks like our severe weather threat is behind us, but there's going to be a concern of heavy rainfall as we head into the night and at least through tomorrow morning. A quick check here of the radar. I want to start with a statewide view of how things are looking. Northwest Kansas dry, but heavy rainfall south of Dodge City. We've got some pockets of heavy rainfall in central Kansas, and then it extends up into parts of Nebraska. Closer view on south central Kansas. We've had a couple of spotty showers. They only last for a minute or two, and most of this as it comes at us from the west and the northwest, beginning to break apart. Now there's still a chance we'll see some scattered rain and thunder, some of it briefly heavy, but I think our bigger rainfall is going to be out here in southwest Kansas. We've already had seven tenths of an inch from Dodge City. Heavy rainfall tonight around the Meade County area. We've got heavy rainfall in cold water that extends up through the Greensburg area. Storms have been ongoing for several hours in Liberal, now shifting south of town. Still some wind potential there in central Kansas. Western Reno County, you've got heavy rainfall. That's been covering a good chunk of Rice County, extending up into Ellsworth County. Some of these locations will find about an inch or so of rain in gauges coming up when you check conditions tomorrow morning. There's some heavy rainfall tonight from McPherson County up into Dickinson County. Most of this continuing to move along to the east and our last stop on radar shows a few showers up here just to the south and west of Concordia, but that rain is fairly light. As for what's expected through the rest of the night, slow moving cold front, additional rain and thunderstorms will kind of fester right along the front and right into the early morning hours on Wednesday. Yes, more opportunities for rain. Some of it will be locally heavy. When we come back in a few minutes, we'll update you on a drastic temperature change taking place for tomorrow. Also, a look at how much rain some places have already had tonight. It's all straight ahead in the show. Uh, the sound of rain out there. Video is giving you a look at the rain coming down in Ellis County this afternoon. Some people there in Ellis County saw about three inches from this storm. Some of what you sent into Storm Team 12 ha helping us track uh, this storm system as it really affected a lot of counties today. And take a look at this video from Dalton. Uh, rotation seen just above haze there. Uh, that's up high in the clouds there. If you have videos or pictures from today's weather, easy to send those to us through the Storm Team 12 app.